Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to get everything needed to fight the Wither, and then hopefully win a fight with it. So today we have a lot of stuff to do, um, and mainly it's all to, be, all to prep us for the Wither. Uh, we're going to go up against the Wither, but to do that, we're going to need some things to help us, and we're working on getting um, a, an upgraded alchemical condenser. We're going to get a, a, an advanced one. And we're going to do that today. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. So, I've processed a bunch of my urns, um, and we have those ready. Let's take a look at the blood sapling. This is what we wanted to make. So I went ahead and gathered all of the uh, the ingredients for this. It may ha We may have to actually manually put this, or, oh, we can't actually make this. This is a, its own recipe. So, let's grab some saplings. I had to go tree hunting, by the way. Let's do that. We need one of each, not ironwood, but jungle. And there we go for that, and a spruce. And then we're gonna need soul urns. And it's like we're we're infusing all these soul urns. It's like we're going to infuse soul into all the saplings. Uh, it's some kind of weird thing that we're gonna do, but it's gonna make a uh, blood sapling. And as you see, we need to put it in a cauldron, in just a normal heat. And, oh, we only need eight, by the way. Only need eight. So let's go ahead and get that thrown in here. We need to turn this off high heat. <laughs> I guess you could say that. Turn it off stoked. And let that dwindle down. Right, that's going to change. There it goes. And then we can throw all of these in there. And that should kick off and hopefully get us a blood sapling. Because this is going to be the only way for us to get ash as of right now. And this is a pretty, I mean, this is going to require you to adventure a little bit to be able to do this. But let's let's just check real quick. Make sure this is the recipe, right? Cauldron. Okay, eight. Oh, we need nether wart. That's right. All right, so we're also going to need nether wart. I was missing one, one little piece of that. Right, so six saplings, nether wart, and solar, and it's, it's going to start. It kind of flickered there. There it goes. Awesome. So, uh, now that we have that done, let me go ahead and sleep, and then we're going to start working on some of the stuff that's going to take a little bit of time, and that is brewing from Rustic. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's like 10 minutes per brew, um, and it's going to take. It's going to require leveling up of the, 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 the brews. So, let's go ahead and sleep, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. So, to make these brews that I was talking about, we're going to focus on one in particular, at least right now, because we can move on to more soon. Um, but let's take a look at the brewing barrel. Uh, from Rustic. Here's the brewing barrel. Pretty easy recipe to make. Let's get our wood. Um, we don't have to make it out of any particular kind. It can be all blended there. Let's actually go ahead and transfer that over because that's going to cause issues. Um, I'm going to make a couple of these. Let's make eight for right now. Because we can put different brews in each one. Um, and then we're also going to need the crushing tub. That's going to be uh, very helpful for us. Um, then we're also going to we're going to need let's see some honey or uh, bees. Uh, what is it called? We may not have any on us. Let's go get some. We're going to hop down here, check out our beehives real quick. Let's grab some of that. That's going to be the precious stuff that we're going to need in order to move on. So let's go ahead and take this. We're going to pop it into the crushing tub. And I think we're going to do some brewing over in this corner. Um, we can pop this here. We're also going to need a bucket. And this is pretty important. So let's go ahead and, and start doing this. Now, you can actually make this faster. Um, slab. If we take a slab. And we add a slab. You know what? Let's do a ironwood slab. If you place this right here and you place it a half slab above there. You can crush this a lot faster, as you can see. So let's go ahead and take a couple of these brewing barrels. I'm going to put one here, 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 like that. We're going to do those for right now. I'm going to grab some of this, place it in here. That's going to get that started. And just keep doing that. And so we'll just keep throwing these in. And that'll keep doing its brew thing, you know. There we go. As you can see, this is going to start producing stuff. 
and we're gonna put some stuff in there. And I want to get this going in multiples because it's gonna be very helpful for us here in a little bit. Because you're gonna have to do this multiple times. And uh, from what the wiki said, it takes 10 minutes for this to process one time. Um, and then there's some other there's some other little uh, bits and bob that you need to know about. So once this does produce, you can put a uh, a bottle here. And then if the bottle, it'll, it'll tell you what the uh, level is on the, like the quality level. If it's not good enough, if it's not above, I think it's 0.75, um, you need to put it over here and combine it back in with the honey. And that's going to allow this to um, increase in uh, its uh, quality. Yeah, this is quality base. So that is a, that is one of the, the things about this. Let's see, how much do we have left in here? Just enough. I think, yeah, just enough to fill these guys. I think there's one more bucket's worth. And that is perfect. That's enough. 64 of them is enough to fill two brewing barrels full. So all we have to do is sit back and pretty much just wait. It's really all we have to do. Uh, we can also get some other things done. Um, iron berries is something that we can do. Um, don't eat iron berries just by themselves. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, it's it's bad. I mean if you were to eat this let me kind of I know some people were saying Eat an, eat an iron berry. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat an iron berry. You can't move If you eat an iron berry You can't move for a while. I mean you can jump to try and move. That's all you can do It completely stalls you um, And it's pretty bad But what we can do is we can fill two two barrels full of this as well. I Think we're missing a bucket and yeah, what we can do is fill this up, and this is actually going to create a brew as well. And normally these are positive brews, but you can't eat them, you can't do them by yourself. Uh, you will be in trouble. <laughs> and if you don't get the quality right, you're going to be in trouble as well. It's going to give you some really negative things. Um, as you see, that is now full. So we're going to, we're going to fill that. And like this should be just enough. Uh, that should be just enough to fill this one. There we go. That filled two barrels. Now I would like to also make some grapes. And to make some grapes, let's take a look at grapes. We have grape seeds. Uh, we're gonna need some rope. And rope from rustic is made simply like this. And let's also get some of these wooden stakes. Uh, as you can see, the wood. Let's go ahead and use our other type of wood. We had so much dark wood, I just wanted to use it up. I'm going to make a few of these. Just kind of get us started. All right. So this is a little different on how to set this up. Some people were asking, how do you set up grapes? Well, I'm going to have to show you. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you can have your wooden stakes separated and we're going to put that right here and go up one more. We're going to run the rope. We're going to connect it to both sides and connect it across like so. And then right here is where our grapes are going to go. Place them right there. And uh, if we had some bone meal, let's get some bone meal. We can grow this like that and this is actually going to produce grapes on the uh, the rope here on the sides or at least it should I don't know if this is in the way but this should definitely produce grapes and it's gonna take a little bit of time to do so but that's how the grapes work that's really how it how it's supposed to be done um, we can probably make another farm that would help out with this as, as well um, I'm going to clear this out, the wheat that we have. I'm not using it as much anymore since we don't really need the cow's leather as much. So three in the middle, and then some like that. Add some rope. Rope. And don't forget to place your grape seeds down here. And hit that with some bone meal, just to get it growing, really. Um, this will grow on its own. And then, oh, as you can see, I, I bone milled this, 
And this right here says growth great on the grapes. You can click those and that will get you grapes. Look at that. And then you could just keep bone milling it. And that's gonna get you grapes. Pretty simple. I mean, that's how you do it. That's how I thought it was. Uh, I forgot about bone milling the centerpiece. Um, but yeah, you just bone mill these individual pieces and you'll get a whole bunch of grapes. And that's what we're also going to use. Do we have a stack yet? I mean, we will have a stack real soon. Because we got, we got tons of bone. Not worried about that. Just throw that in here. Oh wait, I forgot we gotta crush we gotta crush bones. Oh man, my uh, me going between different kind of packs. I've been live streaming. Um, I've been live streaming the pyramid pack here recently, so it's been um, a big change going back and forth. Whew. Anyways, <laughs> now that we have that going, let's check on our blood sapling. See how that's going. There it is. Awesome. We got the advancement for that. And let's pop in and see if we can't plant this thing. Uh, it may have to be planted on soul sand or netherrack. I don't remember. We'll find out. Soul sand or is it netherrack? Soul sand. And can we bone mill this? We're going to find out. We're going to find out real soon if we can bone mill this. So here, bone mill. Probably not, but we'll find out. Yeah, we can't bone mill it. That's okay. We can definitely get some more grapes, though. We're at 62, 64. Awesome. Let's go create some wine. That's what we're going to have to do on here as well. So, that's... <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. Uh, we should probably create, like, our own little brewing area. Um... Maybe not down here, but maybe make a cellar or turn one of these rooms into a cellar. Normally cellars are underground. Um, just because of the, it's easier to maintain temperature. And usually cheaper for people to maintain temperatures like that. There we go. And... We have two more barrels. Which is going to be just enough. Uh, there's our buckets. And that whole thing fills that. So an entire crushing tub fills a, a whole barrel. That's it. That's cool. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. Now I know. So really the crushing tub is is fully built for this. And let's check on our Honey, it's almost done, and then once it's finished, we're gonna transfer this stuff over. So, I'll see you guys whenever it actually generates some. So, let's go ahead and throw this down here. This is gonna get us some bottles of mead, and it does tell us the quality level. And as you see, the quality level is not so great. 0.32. We need a quality level of at least 0.5, or we're gonna get some horrible effects. So, let's go ahead and throw this in here, and we're gonna need some more. We're gonna need some more meat. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab some more. I'm sure our bees have probably already produced, but I'm gonna grab another stack over here. Might as well. And what we're gonna do is combine this with what we currently have. And that's the that's how the process is gonna work. Um, we just need to combine the current mead that we have with the mead that we're producing. And let's make sure we get all of our buckets back. And we'll try this again. As you can see, this is processing. And it does process the whole thing. So let's go ahead and get all of those in. Let's kind of clear our inventory a little bit. That'd make things a little bit easier. And all this did was actually add one bottle of this quantity to, or it's going to add this one quantity right here to this amount. So we're gonna end up with probably a lot more mead than we're ever gonna need. And I'm hoping that this uh, this quality enhancement here is going to bump this up to at least five, I hope. If not, we're gonna be waiting on it, uh, similarly to everything else. But let's go ahead and get the rest of our glass bottles and we're gonna do the same thing to this side. 
And like I said, this has to be, like this is a part, part this is quality 0.31. It's even less than our previous one. And I just want to show you real quick what drinking this will do to you if it's not 0.5. Yeah, you're not gonna like this. These are some really bad effects. And, uh, yeah. What do we have? Ine uh, <laughs> inebriated? Nausea for three minutes. And the wither effect. Yep, this is enough to make any man sick. I did go ahead and look up how to actually get this thing to grow, because I know there's probably an underlying, or underlying thing that is going to prevent this from growing for me. So I did look it up and apparently you can right click it with a solar and it'll insta grow like that. Oh yeah. And that'll get us a disgusting looking blood tree. And we should be able to, uh, they mind that what an awful sound. Oh man. What an awful sound. Um, we'll go ahead and plant this. I think it might grow even without a solar I don't know. But they, get, they got us quite a few um, saplings. Uh, but what we can do is throw this in a smeltery, and it'll actually get us some of that ash that we, we were needing last episode. Um, this should cook. Not, and shouldn't get us... Yeah, it should give us ash. Regular old ash. Whew. Okay. And this, in return, is going to require those bone ingots. So let's go ahead and work on those. I know that we had been... Uh, we had gotten the stuff ready for that. So we have bone meal and bone. And uh, this stuff right here is going to need nitre, which we did get the creeper oysters. And I think we already converted those down here. Yes, we have the nitre. Um, now, we need to go ahead and do this. So, take a look at what bone meal is used for. It's got quite a few uses. Let's take a look at what this is used for. We can kind of go here two to eight. Two and eight will get us what we need, right? Two and eight. Two and eight inside of a normal cauldron. Two bone. Eight of these. Right? All right. Let's go ahead and make just we'll make two of them just to be on the safe side. There we go. Four and sixteen. And that'll start producing as we, you know, get going. So, let's go ahead and go back up here. And we'll get this all figured out. And uh, this, by the way, we ended up getting the quality of five. And this will be eight bottles worth of uh, the iron wine. And let's see what this does. Oh, it gives us an extra heart. Not bad. It gives us like an extra uh, yellow heart. Which is really good. Really good. Um, now, this one wasn't so good, <laughs> and we don't have a, a, enough. This one's not good at all, uh, and this one's barely there, but it still has to be at 0.5 or above to be able to do anything. Now, this one should be almost ready to pop out here, and I really need this mead to be higher. Uh, it has to be at least 0.5, because what mead does is gives us wither resistance. Oh, it's 0.32. Still not good enough. It's really not. And this one's got a little a little bit more time to go. But we're supposed to be able to kind of introduce this into it and to make it better. But it doesn't seem like that's doing it. We're probably going to have to spend some, some actual time on this. So yeah, we're going to have to put some time into this. Just to see how well this is going to work. This got a little bit more time on it. So I'm going to let that do its thing. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to sleep. And I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of this out. And now we have everything we need, right? To uh, make what we need to make. We need it into a stoked cauldron. So three night, uh, three, n wait, yeah. Three nighter. We're going to have enough to make six potash. Is what I'm, what I have. I have enough to make six potash. Two of that and make sure to turn this into a stoked one, right? Yeah, stoked cauldron should be good to go. And all we have to do is wait for this to process, which looks like it's going really fast, which is perfect. And from there, let's take a look. We're going to do this. We're going to make this stuff. Now, this can be used to make a lot of different things, but 
The main thing I want to get is the Hellfire Dust, which we have stored away. If I can hit the right buttons. There we go. And yeah, this is going to make potash. There we go. Um, so the potash, this just requires a regular old fashioned cauldron. And that's a thing. So one, two, three, four. Right, it's four to one. And then this should be done. Just like that. There we go. Um, so let's convert this back to normal. Throw that in there. And that should make some of this nether sludge. Uh, now, nether sludge, it can be used to make nether sludge blocks. Um, unfired nether brick, or if you want to just go ahead and smelt it, you can do that as well. Um, you can do the unfired nether bricks. If you do it this way, uh, you have to stick this in the, uh, the kiln, and that will turn into one brick. I mean, that's just how it's going to work. Um, you can also make pavement. That's interesting. So, yeah. Nether sludge will make nether brick. We're going to use nether brick to make this, the advanced al uh, alchemy stuff. And that's so we can get some potions so we can be good um, whenever we go to fight the wither. I do have a plan in mind on how to fight the wither. Um, it's going to be, it's, it should make it pretty easy for us. At least at the beginning, it's going to be pretty easy. We have a really nice sword. We have pretty good armor. Um, we have a, a good a shield. Everything's looking pretty good. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, what we may encounter, though, is the explosion damage. The wither effect is going to be conquered by the mead. So that's not going to be an issue. Everything else, though, that's going to be the thing. I mean, we should be able to kill the wither pretty easy. Should be pretty easy. Let's go ahead and throw that in here. There's our nether brick. Perfect. Um, I don't know how much we're going to need. Let's see. For this advance. So we're going to need at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to need at least 12 bricks in total. So that's not going to take too long. We're, we're almost there. We have it right down here. This is probably already done. Yeah, there's our 12. Or technically more than that. Um, let's throw that in there. That's going to take just a second. And then we should have everything to craft that, uh, this guy. Now I do want to look at the recipes. Um, we do have quite a few of these different things to be able to make a lot of these different potions, but regeneration potions are going to be really nice. Um, not elixirs of wither, but let's see what other things. Night vision doesn't really apply to us. These elixirs of speed, they give us quite a good boost. It's a uh, speed two here with wind thistles and the, what is that? Marshmallow root. We have aloe vera. This will give us fire resistance for three minutes, which is a really nice potion. We can boost that to eight minutes with, uh, with the horse, uh, horse tail. And this we have, uh, quite a bit of, I do believe. So there we go. All right, let's see if we can craft this thing. I do have the iron block already made. We're gonna need three of these. I'm guessing I'm just missing the buckets. Oh, and the bricks are not in my inventory. All right, there we go. So we have this done. What did we actually get as a quest reward? Let's take a look. It's under alchemy. Uh, we get more bottles. I'm gonna take some bottles. Cause yeah, bottles. We need a lot of bottles, especially when we're working with the mead and stuff. Bottles are very handy. All right, and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and we'll put this one over here for right now. Um, this one, like I said, it requires three. So what we can do is throw the main one down. These all go on the side. And one on the back. And there you go. Now this one also has to, uh, has to, be, has to have water to function. It works the same way. It just has more recipe slots. Okay, so let's get some coal. We'll throw some coal in here. It's got water. It's got everything it needs. It needs some buckets or not buckets, some bottles. And what do we see? The uh, fire resistance. 
bottle of fire resistance, right? This one right here. And then if we go the eight minute one, we need aloe vera, bricks, and coal. Aloe vera, bricks, and coal. Not that bad. And then the horse to make it eight minutes long. So this is going to be a really nice potion right here. Look at that. I'm going to cut down this. Uh, we don't need that many of them. Um, I do want to save on the horse horse tail because this is used actually to extend a lot of different um, recipes. It makes a lot of them. I do want to work on uh, haste. That would be helpful for mining. Uh, let's see. Strength will be helpful for fighting the wither. Iron skin will be helpful for fighting the wither. For sure. Uh, iron berries. This is actually a really good recipe. Really nice recipe. Um, feather, I think, gives you glide effect. Blazing trail. That is inter interesting. How's that? How does this work? Blazing trail. Does that light stuff on you or behind you on fire or does it give you a speed boost? Well, I guess we'll have to find out. And then regeneration. Okay. So, yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I'm slowly but surely working on the mead. It is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay for the the, the reward it actually gives you. Um, it's worth getting. It's worth taking its time. So yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of different things going on here. Oh, this one's actually perfect quality. This is like right uh, almost the highest quality you can get. Okay, so if we want to duplicate this, this is perfect. This is actually done. If we want to duplicate this. What we need to do is empty out all of these and replace it this slot um, for this. Because this right here guarantees that your next output will either be this same level or higher. It, it really does. It, it's going to be the, the same or higher. Awesome. So we got bottle of meat. So that means we're just about ready. We're going to make a couple potions. And then we're just about ready to go fight the wither, guys. Oh, boy. Before I get it all set up, um, we are going to need to make... A bow. I did make some more arrows, but a bow is going to be something nice to make. And there's a bow that you can make with uh, better with mods. I think this one is better than this bow. We're going to enchant this one, though. Um, it does seem like it's harder to make, so I would assume that maybe it's a better bow. I, I don't know. But it is one of the advancements, so I might as well get it done anyways. Um, well, let's go down here. What we'll do is get some lapis. And we'll just hope for the best and enchant this bad boy. And let's see what we actually get. Power three. That is going to be pretty sufficient. I'm <laughs> not going to complain for a power three. Uh, we do have everything ready to go. Let's hit the arrows. All right. So we're pretty set up for this. We have a nice enchanted bow. It's ready to rock and roll. Um, I did go ahead and make all the potions that I think I'm going to need for this. Um, I think the only other thing that I'm missing is just getting rid of some of the things that we don't really need on us. But I, th I think we're honestly protected enough that we could probably kill the wither with ease. By the way, it does seem like this bloodwood sapling, they don't grow unless you throw an urn on them. I've been waiting quite a while, so I would assume that that would be the case. So let's go hit this up. Oh man, guys, I will meet you guys in the nether. I hope you're ready. Okay, so I need to take some deep, deep breaths. So I do know that we have everything ready. I did dig all the way up to the top. Uh, so the best way to kind of kill the wither in 1.12 is to dig to the top of the nether and hope that he kind of gets his head stuck up here so you don't have to worry about him flying up any. Um, he will kind of get stuck. So let's go ahead and get the soul sand built up. Whew, okay, let's get all the heads placed. Minus one. Because we know the middle one is the one that's going to activate him. Let's drink our stuff, get ready to throw our bow because we're gonna have to get our bow after him. Now, this is kind of something that better foliage adds that kind of adds, I don't know, immersion to the nether. Um, that is kind of gonna get in the way, but it doesn't, I mean, it's, it doesn't actually block anything. So uh, we can continue to actually use it and it and not be an issue. So there we go. That's all ready. Let's go ahead and hurry and drink our potions. We got iron skin, we got a bottle of mead, and then we got fire resistance just in case. Let's get back. Let's let him do his thing. 
We have all of this stuff on us. Um, and he's going to... He's starting to flash. He's going to blow up. Alright, and let's get shooting at him. Let's hope... Oh, man. I'm shooting at him, so I'm, I'm hoping that he, he does his thing. He is slowly but surely breaking this area. Oh, man. We are doing okay. So at this point, he is he is done. So let's let's keep hitting, whacking at him. All right. Oh oh boy, we're taking a lot of damage. Let's eat. Let's eat for a second. Let him not really regenerate. Oh man, he's doing some kind of like knockback thing. Oh man, that's really rough. We gotta watch out for that wither effect. Let's get up. We get some mead. Okay. We've almost killed him. We've almost got him. Oh, there's some lava. He knocked in lava. Oh, that's gonna be fun. How are we gonna deal with that? Um. Mine through here a little bit, I guess. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of a, a, a dampening, a dampening on our, our adventure here. Okay. Okay. Ow. Yep. Okay. We're getting we're getting to a point where we have to kind of back off for a second. Phew. Okay. Can we still hit him with bows? No. He's he's fairly protected from that. Let's go after him. Ow. I gotta get that lava out of there. <clears throat> Oh, he's gonna he's gonna take us out if we're not careful. Okay. Okay. Yep. Let's get all this stuff back on us. Eat up. Let's go after him. He's already regaining momentum. He's already he's regaining momentum. All right, I'm going after him. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. At this point, we are hurt pretty bad. We've got to get some food in us, or he's going to take us out. Okay. We've almost got him, though. Let's regenerate our health a little bit, and not let him regenerate too much. Okay. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. Whew. Epic battle. He does spawn Wither Skeleton Skulls. So that is a thing, and ta-da! We just defeated him. We need to eat, though. We need to eat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, instant health jars. Let's get those. Whew. Okay. Let's get our stuff. Did we get a... Uh, do we get another star? Oh, there's another star. Oh, man, that was an epic battle, guys. I don't know about you... That was a epic battle. Wow. Our face. Is that from Iron Skin? That is so cool looking. We are Iron Skinned up. I don't think I could have done it without the potions, guys. That was very difficult. Like, I'm not joking. We got uh, a, a scroll there. We got extra hearts, heart canisters. That would have been nice to have extra heart canisters. We didn't have any, but we got another star. Oh man, this is awesome. And that's what we're going to have to use the Nether Star to do this also to get our airship core. But a Soul Forge Steel Anvil actually requires this. But honestly, at the point that we get the Soul Forge Steel, we're going to be in the end. So I think it's probably best to use this on our airship. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Man, the beacon. That was a awesome battle and well worth everything that we did to face the wither guys that was fun that was really fun and enjoyable Whew, i don't know did you guys find that cool <laughs> all right let's go ahead and head back and i'll see you guys back at the base well guys i hope you enjoyed that episode if you did you know what to do don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and also give this video a thumbs up guys i really appreciate it you guys are awesome and as always thanks for watching let's go.